Hi. So I thought this was big when we got it. Wait till you see what Pete's got now. That looks minute now. Yes, I think an explanation is in order. <laughs> so, I need to go back to the beginning of this thorny issue of caravan weights. Some of you will recall from the last video that I was planning to upgrade the Gator X from 2800 ATM, which is its standard ATM, to 3080. I had that upgrade scheduled for November and that would have given us an extra 280 kilos of payload with an increased ATM, as I say, of 3080. So that would have solved our weight issue with the Gator. But with Jill's momentous decision that we talked about in our last video, we're going to be touring and towing much, much more than was the case previously. So we wanted a caravan that we could put a little bit more stuff in, but more importantly, we wanted a caravan where we could always have water in the tanks because we planned to stay less in caravan parks and more on free camps in this coming 2023 and 24 towing season of ours. So fortunately the mountain trail has nearly 300 litres of water capacity in its tanks and that's fabulous but water's heavy and 300 litres weighs 300 kilos so we were going to be towing a lot more weight than was previously the case. So with that extra weight of the water and the extra stuff that we we're taking in the caravan the new mountain trail will probably be at or near its 3500 ATM limit which with a 10% rule of thumb for tow ball weights should give us approximately a tow ball weight of 350 kilos which when you multiply that by the fulcrum multiplier for the discovery of 1.4 that's about 490 kilos of load on the rear axle so the discovery is probably about the best standard configuration tow vehicle on the market. It has a GCM of 6760 kilos, it's rated to tow 3500 kilos and it has a GVM gross vehicle mass of 3260 kilos. So in terms of a standard configuration towing vehicle in Australia the Discovery is just about the best but with that extra tow ball weight 490 kilos is a lot to take off its rear axle load of 1900 kilos and when I did my calculations we were more or less at the limit in terms of payload of the Discovery and at or ever so slightly over the limit of the rear axle load and I didn't want that I didn't want to be having to worry about weights and limits and the legality of where we were at any point in time and of course there's a conventional wisdom, not necessarily a law, but a conventional wisdom that says that when you're towing a caravan, the towing vehicle should weigh more than the caravan, which certainly was the case when we were towing the Gator with the Discovery, but towing the mountain trail with the Discovery, that wouldn't have been the case and the caravan would have weighed more than the car. And again, if I wanted to be absolutely safe and absolutely towing in the best configuration I needed a car with a GVM that was heavier than the 3260 kilo GVM of the Discovery. So after many many attempts to reorganize the payload and weights in the Discovery and multiple spreadsheet iterations weighing every single thing that we intended to take in the caravan and on the car and several trips to the local weigh bridge and many many sleepless nights I decided 
that the Discovery sadly was not going to be the vehicle that would achieve what we wanted. And if it wasn't to be the Discovery, what was it? <laughs> well, if it's not going to be the Discovery, it certainly wouldn't be a Land Cruiser or a Nissan Matrol or any of those other wagons that are perfectly capable of towing up to 3,500 kilos. So if it wasn't going to be one of those cars, what would it be? And that's when I turned my attention to the American trucks, the big American trucks. Initially, I started to look at the Ram 1500, but even that was compromised on its weights. The rear axle load on the Ram 1500 was actually less than on the Discovery, and the payload wasn't that great. So I then started to look at its bigger brother, the Ram 2500. So as you can see, I turned my attention not to the Ram 1500, but to the Ram 2500. But my next problem after that decision was how the hell do I get one without waiting 9 to 12 months? Fortunately, I found this car on carsales.com. It's a Model 22 year, it's only 5 months old and it had only done 5,000 kilometres when I got it. And it's been set up as a perfect towing rig. So, very fortunately, I was able to buy this. So the Ram has a GCM, gross combined mass of 12,670 kilos. It has a GVM, gross vehicle mass of 4,495 kilos. It has a rear axle load of 2,700 kilos and a payload, a cargo payload of between 850 and 900 kilos. It has a stonking Cummings diesel 6.7 litre engine. So. I will be able to tow the mountain trail caravan without any problems whatsoever and thankfully I'll never have to worry about weights again. I will however have to worry about how to park the damn thing.